Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this really sweet bendy card. Dead easy to make. I've seen these around for quite a while and there were some images I saw on Pinterest so I just went from there and I used the stamps from Creative Stamping Magazine. Loved putting this one together. Made it during a Facebook Live. So if you want to see this at normal pace then I will link the Facebook Live in the description box below. But you can see there, folds flat to fit in a 6x6 envelope and then when you open it you just bend it and it will go into its 3D form and it will stand up and uh, everyone can enjoy it. So let me show you how to make it. So this is the Creative Stamping issue 94. It's unfortunately not available anymore, but if I can find any links, I, again, I'll link them in the description box. But you get papers with this issue. So you don't always get the papers, but you always get the A4 stamp sheet. And this was actually with the Daisy May designs. It's the tree stump there and toadstool. So you can see I like to stamp everything that I'm going to use, get it all cut out and coloured. I use my Arteza coloured pencils and I think I mix some of the Black Widow ones as well. So you want a piece of 6 by 6 cardstock and you're just going to score through the middle at 3 inches and then just fold that in half. Like I said, very simple to put this one together. As you see there, that's just the basic back. And then this strip here is 7 by 1.5. It can actually be as thick as you want and you just want to score at half an inch at each end. So you might decide you want your piece to be even you know, taller. You can see here. I'm laying down my sentiments. So if you've got something bigger that you want to stamp there, or maybe, you know, you've got a different way of decorating it. Like I said, you can go higher with that. So I'm just kind of auditioning everything, seeing how it's going to look. And then I'm just going to get this all inked up. So I use the VersaFine black ink just because I'm using my colored pencils. So it doesn't really matter. I'm not adding water or I'm not using alcohol markers or anything, but just make sure see if you are coloring that you use the right inks. So I'm using a Father's Day from, this was an older creative stamping magazine. And then I'm just using a couple of the images there either side, just to kind of fill that white space and then just coloring those in again, like I said, the Arteza color pencils and a mix of the Black Widow quite simple colouring again you can watch all of this at a slower pace just click on the Facebook link below and then I'm also sticking these pieces here now you don't want to stick these down yet in a minute I'm going to go to the next step you actually want to do these after you stick this piece down so I'm just laying it across and you'll see I'm peeling off the corners there so you want to add glue to the tabs on this strip so you'll see now I'm just adding the glue there and then you're going to stick that down onto your card base so I'm just Popping it in there and you want to make sure that the fold runs flush with the outside of the card and along the bottom of that corner. So just spend a minute. You've got a bit of wiggle time. I'm using the Clow All Purpose Clear. You can see now how that goes in. Then you want to stick in those patterned uh, paper pieces. Those measure two and three quarters by five and three quarters. And you'll want, I end up cutting four because I have two for the front and then two for the back. But again, there you can see I'm just lifting that paper up just so I can pop that in I mean if you do stick your paper down first and you you stick that piece over the top it's it's not the end of the world it will still look fine but it does just hide those tabs and look like it's all kind of one piece just shape it a little bit you can add a curve into that if you want this piece here is for the tab it's going to go inside so this is four and a half by one and three quarters and you want to score at half an inch two inches two and a half and four inches this is optional. You might not need it. You might want to stick everything on that bendy piece. But this piece I'm popping into the middle. So I'm just adding my glue again on the two outer tabs there. And then because you've got the middle section, which is that half inch piece, you want to make sure that that overhangs your middle score line on your card blank. You'll see in a moment when I go to lay that down, you want to make sure that you get it in the middle of the card. So I'm just Having it so it's flush with the bottom of that piece, mine comes up slightly higher than the bendy part, but you're not going to see all that because I'm going to end up sticking my detail on the front. But you can see now how that's in there. Like I said, you can change the size of that if you want to. It's entirely up to you. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the top and then I'm going to start sticking everything down. So this is the lovely tree stump from that stamp set. And I've already gone and just fussy cut all of them. Again, you can see all that colouring in slow, slow motion, you know, normal speed in that link below. But you can see now how that pops up when you open it up. And then I'm uh, adding the really cute and home. He's very sweet and he sits perfectly on the top of that tree stump. And there's that little toadstool next to him as well. And then I'm going to start popping this on high speed now and get everything else stuck down. So I'm going to put some music on and just let you watch me put it together.
Okay, and there's the finished card. So like I said, it's very quick. The card base takes no time at all. As always, it's all the decoration, especially if you're colouring. I added some glossy accents. You can see that just shining when I move the card. And I've just fallen in love with this. It's already gone off. It's been uh, given to a friend and it was enjoyed for Father's Day. So you can see the back there as well. I just used some more of the elements that I'd stamped and coloured. And I think it turned out really, really nicely. So thank you for watching as always. And I'll be back again soon. Bye.